Welcome to flight number four of the DJI Phantom 2 quadcopter. Today's flight started out wonderfully. I uh, had plans to go to Pennypack Park and launch the craft from the side of a creek and follow the creek down as it turned along uh, the path and get some sweeping views of the river and the trees beside it. That was my plan, and things started out wonderfully until they went completely awry and I wound up actually crashing the quadcopter on this flight. The water actually was not running very high, so luckily it, it literally crashed into a section of water. There was only one or two inches of water, so it didn't completely submerge, however, um, there are definitely some lessons learned from this, and the, the most important lesson is to fly your skill level. Don't try to fly above what you're actually capable of doing, especially when you're new with the DJI Phantoms. You kind of want to go out and try and do everything, and I think I was a little bit over-enthusiastic, I'll say, or overconfident in my abilities at this point of how how well I could control this craft. So, and you can see the wind is blowing. You can see the tree branches moving. The wind speed at launch was 14 miles per hour. And as I set off to slowly navigate upriver, as far as I dared, now I have no uh, first person view or FPV on this craft. So this is all being done line of sight. I can't see exactly where the quadcopter is heading or what the camera is looking at at this point. I'm kind of guesstimating, so I'm slowly moving upstream. And what I didn't anticipate was the fact that trees were kind of, the branches were dipping over and extending across the Pennypack Creek. I imagined I had more space to work with than I actually did. So. Again, that is another error on my part for, on this flight that ultimately led to this quadcopter crashing. And as you can see, I kind of raised up a little bit, got a little higher, turned the quadcopter around a little bit to see what, what was going on to the right and to the left of me, and noticed at this point that the quadcopter started to shake, so I descended and decided to bring it home. Uh, to safely land it and and take a look at the footage I got and as I'm heading back You're gonna see to the right. You're gonna see branches come up to the right the quadcopter hits the branches spins around lands in the water